Welcome to my studio. I thought you might enjoy seeing how a painting goes from start to finish. So a lot of people ask why I paint my canvases red. It is a wonderful thing to do to get rid of that scary white. Plus it receives the colors that I use really, really well. I paint landscapes, greens are complementary to red. It just does a great job. Also, I don't really use red unless I'm doing a very fall uh, painting. I don't really use red on my palette. So I always start with red and then I chalk in my drawing. So my drawings come from my reference. So whenever we're at a lake or at a cottage or even driving by a cottage, I'm the worst uh, one for, you know, stop the car, turn around. Um, whenever I take a lot of photos and then I print them out, send them over to my computer, print them out and use them as reference. So then I chalk in the drawing. So this is a four by four painting on my French cleat wall. So this is great because I can move the painting up and down and reach it and it's it's not a big cumbersome, cumbersome e, uh, easel. So this works really great. The next thing I'm going to do is ink this in with a burgundy paint. This is the only time I use a pointy brush. I don't know the technical word for that, but this is the only time I do and I will fill in an ink with a burgundy paint. I use a quinacridone magenta by Golden for my inking stage. For painting this size, I tend to use a bigger uh, pointy brush. I tend to, when I'm inking and chalking and doing my drawing, I tend to just focus on the bigger shapes. The little shapes come when I'm painting. The color blocking stage is next. I use this sealable, sealable palette. I put all my colors on. I am a color glut, I glutton. I love any color. I use a certain amount of golden. I just love their colors and I, I will use them all. I'm not really a color mixer, but I do mix my colors on the canvas. I pick up many colors at the same time in a brush and I apply it and mix it on the canvas. So you're gonna see in my work, lots of streaks and variation of color. So at this point, I have got the image, I've got the canvas uh, painted red to get rid of the scary white. I've chalked in my image and I've used a Azilorin Crimson by Golden to ink in the image. It is now dry and ready for me to color block. I usually start with the foreground. I like to paint the background last. Um, I like to have it live um, and have energy from uh, the, the foreground, from the positive shapes. So I'm just gonna do a little recording for you of the color blocking of this image.
another day in the studio and I have almost got this painting fully color blocked. You can see where there is still red and I will continue to work the red and get rid of it. There's always bits of red if you are really close and maybe I'll do a little close up for you. If you're really close, you can see the bits of red poking through. This is why I get rid of the white because if there was white poking through, it would seem like the painting just wasn't finished. The red actually unifies and since it's a complementary color to the green, it pops it if that makes sense. So today I'm going to be finishing color blocking. I'll be working on other things in the studio. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, click subscribe. I'm going to be working on some more projects for you. And I have some ideas. If there's things that you want to see, let me know. Um, have a great day.